Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we have another algebraic exponential equation that we're gonna solve. In this equation we have 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of 2 times x plus 7 to the power of 3 times x is equal to 14. And we are given to find the value of x. You can pause this video and try this one by yourself or you can check out my playlist on how to solve other algebraic exponential equations like these ones. Now you may go ahead and save this video for future reference as we go along with solving our equation for x. Now our equation states that 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of 2 times x plus 7 to the power of 3 times x is equal to 14. Now using the laws of indices where we have a to the power of m times n is the same as saying a to the power of n times m. Now we'll be using this principle to simplify our equation in order to solve x. So from here we say 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x and we put that in brackets powered by 2. Then we'll have plus 7 to the power of x again and we'll also power that by 3. And that's equal to 14. Now from here we say let the value of 7 to the power of x become y. So we'll substitute the value of 7 to the power of x for the variable y. So here where we see 7 to the power of x we will represent that by y. So we say y plus, here again we say y and this time we say y squared plus y cubed is equal to 14. Now from here we can take this 14 and bring it to the left hand side of the equation so it will become negative 14. We will also rewrite our equation having y cube at the front so we we'll have y cube plus y squared plus y minus 14 is equal to 0. Now we can simplify our equation by taking this negative 14 and negative 14 can be evaluated as negative 8 minus 4 minus 2. So subtracting these numbers gives us negative 14 where negative 8 is a cubic number we would have minus 2 to the power of 3. So that's going to give us negative 8 and here we have negative 4 so we would have minus 2 squared. And here we just have minus 2 to the power of 1 which is just negative 2. So we'll take these three numbers and put them into our equation. So from here we'll take y3 and we'll pair that to negative 2 to the power of 3. And from here we say plus y squared. And we'll pair y squared with negative 2 squared. So we'll have y squared minus 2 squared. Then we'll have plus y and we'll pair that to 2 to the power of 1. So we'll have y minus 2. And all of this is equal to 0. Now from here if you look closely we have an expression here where we have y cubed minus 2 cubed. And this is an example of what we call the difference of 2 cubes. We will have a cubed minus b cubed and we'll write the rule for that. And we have y squared here minus 2 squared. And this is an example of the difference of 2 squared. So we'd have a squared minus b squared rule. Now let us look at the difference of 2 cubes. The difference of 2 cubes is expanded by having a minus b in brackets. And another pair of brackets will say a squared plus ab plus b squared. And now the difference of two squares is expanded by having a minus b in one set of bracket and the other sets of bracket will have a plus b. So in order to solve this equation we need to learn how to expand these expressions. So now from here we say a cubed minus b cubed so we expand that by saying y minus 2 in one pair of brackets and in the other pair of brackets we'll do the other one by saying y squared plus 2y plus 2 squared so that would be 4. 
and from here we will have plus and we plus the difference of 2 squared y squared minus 2 squared so we'll have this expanded here so we'll have y minus 2 in the first pair of brackets and in the second pair of brackets we'll have y plus 2 and that will be added to y minus 2 and that's all equal to 0 now when we look we see y minus 2 here we also see it here in the difference of two squares and we see it here it means that we can factor out y minus 2 in these expressions so since y minus 2 is multiplying y plus 2 we can take that and put it in here to factor it out so we can factor out our difference of two squares by having y minus 2 and in brackets we will include that by saying y squared plus 2y plus 4 then we'll include the y plus 2 here so we say plus y plus 2 since it's a positive y and then from here we factor this by having 1 so we'd have plus 1 since y minus 2 times positive 1 gives us y minus 2 then we have that equal to 0 and from here we'll say y minus 2 is equal to 0 and what we'll do in the other pair of brackets is that we'll gather like terms so we'll say y squared plus 2y plus y which will give us 3y right so we will have that and then we say plus 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7 so we would have y squared plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0 and now here we have our first solution being that y is equal to 2 and here we will solve the value of y here by using our quadratic formula where we say that y is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where the values of a, b, and c is as follows. So a is the value of the coefficient of y squared, which is positive one, b is the value of the middle term, which is positive three, and c is the value of the number term, which is positive seven. So what we'll do is that we'll take all of the values of a, b, and c, and we'll plug that into our quadratic equation. So that means that we'll have y is equal to minus, and we'll have minus three, because b is three. So we have that plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 3 squared minus 4ac which is 4 times 1 times c is 7 so that 4 times 1 times 7 and then we have all of this over 2a and 2a is 2 times 1. y therefore is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of we know 3 squared is 9 so that the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times 7 4 times 1 times 7 gives us 28 so that 9 minus 28 and we have all of this over 2 times 1 gives us 2 so we have all of this over 2. And then from here y is therefore equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 28 gives us negative 19. So we'd have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 19 over 2. Now from here we see y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 19 times the square root of negative 1. And we have all of this over 2. We know that the square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number, so it is represented by the letter i. So we'll just write our equation for y to be that y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 19 i all over 2. Now the value of y in this case is what we call an example of a complex solution since we have the letter i which is an imaginary number so there is no real solution here so we know that we have a real solution and that is that y is equal to 2 and that's will, what we'll be using to solve our equation so let's look at our real solution of y so again we say y is equal to 2 and this is our real solution now from here we recall that we said that the value of y we say let 7 to the power of x to be equal to the variable y so 
having that y is equal to 2 it means therefore that 7 to the power of x is equal to 2 and now from here to solve x we take log so we'll be using logarithm to solve x so we say log 7 to the power of x is equal to log 2 and from here we have a logarithm rule that says that log x to the power of y is equal to y log x. And now from what we have here, we'll simplify our equation using our rule. So we'll have x log 7 is equal to log 2. And then we'll divide both sides by log 7. So we'll have log 7 being divided here. I'll divide log 7 on the right as well. So these will be cancelled out. So we would have x is equal to log 2 over log 7. But we can simplify this using this logarithm rule. So we'll have log a over log b is equal to log base b of a. So we'll be using this expression here to simplify for the value of x. So x then is therefore equal to log base 7 of 2. And this is our solution for x. Now from here we can verify the solution to see if it is true. We verify this by plugging in the value of x into our equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we say that x is equal to log base 7 of 2 and we are now going to verify this solution. So again we verify this solution by having our equation rewritten so we have 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of 2 times x plus 7 to the power of 3 times x is equal to 14. Now all that we'll do from here is that we will substitute x for this value here. So we have 7 to the power of log base 7 of 2. And then from there we continue by saying plus 7 to the power of 2 times log base 7 of 2. And from here we continue again by saying 7 to the power of 3 times log base 7 of 2. And this almost evaluate to 14. Now using this logarithm rule that we did previously, we said that log x to the power of y is the same as having y times log x. So if we look here, we have 3 to the power of log base 7 of 2. And here we have 2 times log base 7 of 2. We can use this logarithm rule. So from here we say 7 to the power of log base 7 of 2. Plus 7 will now have to the power of log base 7 of 2 and we'll power that by 2 using what we have up here as our logarithm rule. So we'll just use that here. We'll continue here by saying plus 7 to the power of log base 7 of 2 and we'll power that 2 by 3. This again must evaluate to 14. So again from here we have another logarithm rule where we can look at. So in this rule it states that x to the power of log base x of y where the base are the same so we see x here and we see x here this expression evaluates to y so we'll be using this rule to simplify our expression that we have up here and hence see if it is equal to 14. so from here we say where we see the 7 and the 7 we put that 2 and then we say plus here again we see 7 and the 7 we know that's going to be 2 squared and 2 squared gives us 4 so we have 2 plus 4 here we see the 7 and the 7 again being the base and then we have 2 cubes so we we'll have 2 cube here which is 8 so we we'll have 2 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 14 and now is that true 2 plus 4 is 6 and 6 plus 8 gives us 14 so there we have it our solution is verified x is indeed equal to log base 7 of 2 now this was a lengthy video i hope that this was very informative 
if you like this video please smash that like button share and subscribe for more math like this and until then i'll see you soon thanks again for watching